During this ICS Impulse video, we're going to talk about video recording, and specifically the video recording options in Otosuite V. You can do video recording during head impulse testing. To start the video recording at the same time as data collection, you want to make sure the auto record box is checked. To control the video recording manually, you can click record to start the recording and stop to stop the recording. Under the options tab, you have three options for what speed you want to video record during head impulse. 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, or 120 frames per second. It is best to select grayscale image if video recording is being used. Over here in this screen you see when you're doing data collection you have the option of grayscale image or pupil location. Pupil location will be a white pupil on a black background. So grayscale image will actually give you the full picture. So it's obvious that grayscale image is the option you want to choose. Now you can also do video recording outside of head impulse in the video only mode and you have two options for that type of video recording. You can record the full image or you can record a region of interest. For full image video only mode, the video can be recorded at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. For playback of this video, if the video is recorded at 60 frames per second and played back at 60 frames per second, it'll play in slow motion. If you play it back at 30 frames per second, it'll play at normal speed. Your other option is region of interest. So you can choose just the area of the eye that you want to record instead of the full image. For region of interest, you can record the video at 30, 60, or 120 frames per second. And if the video is recorded at 60 or 120 frames per second and played back at 60 or 120 frames per second, it'll be in slow motion. If the video is played back at 30 frames per second, it'll play at normal speed. On the video playback window, you have a couple of options. For every video collected, you have the time and date that that video was recorded whether that was recorded under video only mode or if it says HI it was recorded under the head impulse mode. You have what frames per second were selected for that video recording. You have a unique identifier. So to mark a file for a specific purpose, for example to indicate abnormal results or this is data that you want to use for a research project, click in the checkbox under the column heading marked with this symbol. And I'll show you where that shows up in your patient list. Under Remarks, this helps assist you in identifying video recorded. So if you did simple gaze or simple saccades, you could easily mark that in the remarks. Or if there's something abnormal about the video recording, then you could mark that in there as well to make it easy for you to remember what was of interest for that video. When you look under the existing patient, you will see that if a video is recorded, there will be a checkbox, which you see down here. And then if that unique identifier was selected, you'll see the exclamation point in the existing patient list. Let's actually go look at some patient data. So we're going to go to patient list. Let me show you one thing. Here, video record and playback is the video only mode. So if you click there, then you'll get into the video only section. Let's go to a patient who has some video recorded. So we're going to click on Jane Doe here. If you notice over here, she's got video recorded. Okay, let's select this top video and let's play it at normal speed. So we're going to choose 30 as our playback speed and we're going to click play. So it's normal speed at which the patient is moving their eyes. Now let's play back that video at 120 frames per second. And you'll see that this is slow motion. So 120 frames per second is going to be the slowest of the slow motion speeds, and 60 frames per second would be in between normal and, the, and 120. So you can see that the video is in slow motion.
Okay, and just a couple of things. If you wanted to pause the video during video playback, you could do that. The other important thing is delete video. If you collect a lot of video and you don't want all this video taking up your hard drive space, then delete the ones that aren't important to you and just save the ones that are important to you. So video files are approximately 4.3 megabytes per hour when recording using the region of interest at 120 frames per second. Recording the video at a slower frame rate will create a smaller file and using the full image instead of the region of interest will create a larger file. So again, to save disk space, always delete videos that are not needed. And that's all the information we have on video recording using the Otosuite V and the ICS Impulse.